Hi, my name is Johnny Collins. I'm a professional chef. Um, we're here in my Dawson kitchen. It's a very small, skinny little space. Um, we've lived here for over a year, but um, it's a great space to cook in. We designed it so that we can have lots of people over as well. We actually found our flat on auction, which is quite uh, terrifying because you only get to see it once. You can't do a survey. Um, and we walked in and basically Bianca like fell through the, the floorboards um, and she looked up at me and was like, this is the one. So um, it was a bit of a blank canvas. We turned it from a one bed to a two bed and actually we built the extension. We wanted the kitchen to be like the focal point of the house really. So it leads straight into the garden and it's just lovely and lovely and bright. The growing side is as important to me as the cooking side. My mum is a garden designer, so we designed it with her. And now we're growing all these different stuff that we like to eat, but also flowers and grasses and everything in, in amongst each other as well. So my advice is to really like invest in the hardware, get a nice big fridge, get a nice oven, and that will like lead you to more cooking. If you have a good oven and a good extraction, you want to cook. It's a smeg induction. Induction for home is so super easy. You can cook nice and low on it, you can cook really high on it, and um, it's very, very easy to clean, so I recommend it for anyone at home. We basically designed this space so that we can have a nice, easy space to work in. We've got open shelves, that makes it feel really nice and spacious, but also we can have loads of people over in the garden for, for lunch or dinner. You know, one of the key things I think about um, working in a small space is, like, keeping it really tidy. If you want to go fast, you need to go slow. So reset, wipe your board, you know, get things into little containers and then on to the next task. One by one, task by task, clean down in between each task. And that's like a really easy thing to take from professional cooking to home. I have all these like little bowls. Um, I get them all, all out before I start. One's for compost, one's for like the garlic once we've cooked it, you know, once we've, once we've chopped it down. Uh, next one will be for the next sauce. Next one's for like other scraps. You know, and that fits in the, in the cupboard super easy. Tips for kind of growing in a small space would be to use pots. So we've got alpine strawberries and a little tomato plant in here. Focusing on things that are easy to grow, um, that grow again once you eat them, um, and have lovely flavour as well. We've got a mix of herbs, like oregano, chives, rosemary, lettuces, all in this little bed together. And it's all growing really happily and it's all really easy to grow and the chives you can snip and they'll come back. So you can see I've been snipping them off, having them for supper most nights, and now um, we're gonna snip some more for our little dish today. And this is, it was sprouting broccoli, but the flowers have a really lovely taste as well. So it tastes like kind of peppery broccoli. It's really yummy. Um, we're gonna put those in the salad. When I cook at home, I usually love to cook like simple things that people want to eat, but just like a little bit elevated with some tricks that you know I've learnt from 15 years cooking in the kitchen. So I'm going to make roast chicken and chips. I've deboned it, brined it, and that's a really simple trick for cooking at home. Brining something, um, all you're doing really is it's like a marinade, but it's through the kind of process of osmosis, uh, you're getting seasoning inside the chicken and it's gonna add flavor. And when you cook it, it's gonna kind of help the skin crisp. Um, but it's really, really simple method. You know, you just weigh water, whisk in salt and sugar and add a bit of flavoring if you, if you need it. And I've deboned it so that I can cook it all the way in a pan. I might finish a little bit in the oven, but I wanna cook it skin side down and get all the little bits nice and crispy. Then it's also a really nice way of serving it um, to people to share. It's already kind of sliced and nicely, easy, nice and easy to kind of pick at. I have boiled the potatoes whole with the skin on um, and that for me means less water goes inside the potato when you're cooking it. I've then chilled them overnight um, so they've kind of steamed out all their liquid going to do everything in the oven so there's no like extra mess of having some frying oil and they just you know come out really nice and soft and crispy and delicious herbs chopped down Yeah, we're getting nice skin all over. 
just butter, chicken juice, garlic, lots of flavour. So yeah, nice dollar. A mustard. And now I'm going to add the herb stuff. Beautiful, garlicky, herby mayonnaise. not just the cooking, but the hospitality. So, um, you know, laying the table nicely. Um, we pick kind of only things from the garden. We don't really buy flowers. Um, so these are the, like the broccoli flowers that we've been gonna put in this salad. We've got these beautiful um, linen from the, the set and some of the crockery from the set as well and lovely tablecloths and these lovely little jugs from them. Chicken, really good chips, and a herb aioli using herbs from the garden. The Modern House, selling thoughtfully designed homes across the UK.